When considering our relationship with God, we must consider what he has specifically shown us about himself and how we are to live for him. Now, although this may seem obvious, some people may not see the absolute necessity for having God's words as formative in the relationship with the Lord and tend to assume things about him rather than verifying through the words that he has given us. This also comes in the advent of multiple Bible versions, in which many do not have an authority to make these verifications absolute. For those who believe the authorized version, King James Bible, is the Word of God, we can see that the Bible makes powerful claims about itself that are undeniable. Hebrews 4 verses 12 to 13 for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and opened unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. 1 Peter 1 verses 23 to 25 Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away but the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. The words that we read are not just words. The book has life in it that moves people in ways they never would have imagined and transforms their hearts to serving the Lord by the Holy Spirit that moves in them and through this book. When reading about what Christ said about his own words, we see that this is crucial for our faith. Matthew 24 verse 35, Mark 13 verse 31, and Luke 21 verse 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. John 6 verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. John 14 verse 10 Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. When we read the words of Christ, we are reading the words of the Father. When we are reading scripture, we are reading words of his Holy Spirit. If you do not have the scriptures, as new version committees claim inspiration only in the original autographs, you have a dead book. And it is up to the wolves to tell you what God said with no way to discern or truly verify for yourself. If it is indeed the Bible, it is a living book. And don't let anyone take that book away.